Howdy folks, hope all well out there. This lesson, we're looking at a BB King style backing track. It's basically the sort of solo he did over Sweet Little Angel off the Live at the Regal album. So it's a blues in C. Um, we're looking at a solo that's very similar to that, taking lots of different ideas from that and seeing how BB King uses the different pentatonic positions to navigate his way across some blues changes. So this links to what we've done already. We've done the last three or four lessons on different positions. So we're seeing how we use the positions here in both a minor and a major way. So the first thing, let's just go over the chord progression just to make sure we know that, right? So we've got a C7 chord. Then we go to F7, which is called the quick change in bar two. C7, C7. So think of that as your first line. You can see it um, above you in the corner there. Two bars of F7, two bars of C7, then we've got G7 for a bar, this is a, the final four bars, the F7, C7, and then back to the G7, okay? So fairly, very standard, all right? So what BB King is thinking, and my solo takes lots of elements from his solo, but it's not, it's certainly not note for note. Um, I've taken his ideas and then played around with them, basically. So what he starts with, and this is exactly the same as the solo. Right, so we're thinking pentatonic position two here. Which you can see on your screen now, yeah. And try and see it coming out of the chord. When I'm thinking of, say, this um, dominant seventh chord here, which in this case is C7, a lot of the time I'm seeing this major third here, right? And that kind of like highlights these two notes. I see this a bit like a house. One wall of the house, the other wall of the house, and the roof. Yeah, and that helps me sort of navigate where I am. So we're starting with this. This is basically a full bend here on this, this tenth fret up to, up to the major third. And then we've just got a chord. Yeah. Just a, basically a C chord. Right? Okay, so that is the first line that comes in just before bar one into bar one. So over that bar, I do something like this. Right, all the tab, by the way, is available on the Patreon page. If you head over there, the tab for the solo is there in Guitar Pro and PDF format. Now, also, not only do you get that on Patreon, you get a follow-up video. And on the follow-up video, I do another solo across the top of this with some more outside -y changes. So it's kind of a BB King outside sort of a solo um, to give you some more ideas. So make sure you check that out. Just click the link below and that will take you over there. So here we're just thinking. We're thinking C minor pentatonic position one. And we're doing a very typical bend up into the C here. Plenty of vibrato on the top. Right, now this vibrato, it's important to get a lot of control over your vibrato here. So you want three fingers behind the bend, you want your knuckle up against there, your thumb over the top. Push into your thumb. And then you're just sort of teasing it up and down. So at the end there, when it comes back to the C chord on bar three, I do this. So this is going back to like a major tonality. I'm thinking of position two in C major. I'm just doing this minor third to major third thing, right? And this is saying to the listener, we're back on C major now. We've gone off F, uh, F major and we're back on C major. So BB King is kind of thinking C major pentatonic position two over the C. Then when the F comes, he's thinking C minor pentatonic position one because you can play C minor pentatonic across the whole thing, but with the majors, you need to follow the chords. That's something I've said a lot in the past. 
Okay, so what does he do next? So the next line over the, the next C chord is this. Right, so what we're thinking here is pentatonic position two again. And using the six, the six sounds really cool over major. I mean, that line itself is just, just fantastic. When you're going from the five to the six to the root, minor third, major third. Yeah. When you hear Josh Smith doing that line quite a lot, for example. Then I'm just going down the, the triad, the C major triad there, and ending up on the sixth. Right? Now over that, I'm now thinking again minor pentatonic. I'm shifting away from major pentatonic. I'm thinking C minor pentatonic. But instead of staying down here, I'm shifting up here. Yeah, I'm just playing around in this. So again, it's pentatonic position two, but C minor pentatonic position two, not C major. So the whole position would be there, wouldn't it? So, so maybe leaning on that note a little bit because it's we're over F. Yeah, so lines like that. On the actual solo, I did something like... So I'm rocking between these notes, which is very cool. Yeah, um, and I I use that note as well, which is just in the, the C minor pentatonic position too. Okay, so that's what we're doing over the F chord. Then what I'm doing, I'm going down into C minor pentatonic position one over the C chord. This is in bars seven and eight, right? And I'm thinking, so I'm making use of the, the blues note here. The flat five. So I'm playing the blues scale really. I'm actually playing so that's the actual line so there's some quite fast bits in there but the fast bit is basically this to just eight on the G Pull off 10, 8 on the D, 10 on the A, 8, 10 on the D, back. Now your right hand's really important here. I'm doing a down stroke, and then up, up. Now that gets that sort of very smooth cascading effect. makes it kind of like really kind of like to sort of tumble if you like and when you hear that it's quite hard to decipher what's going on but a lot of it is the right hand it's that little it's a sweep basically so you can kind of go round and round it like that yeah and I think it just sounds really nice and you can maybe put a a little rake in as well. And then vibrato. Now it's sounding more like Stevie Ray Vaughan, isn't it? But I guess Stevie Ray Vaughan, BB King are two of like really heavy influences on my playing. So, so I'm quite happy about that. I think that's very cool. Then in the next bar, I just repeat that theme and I do something like... Yeah. So I'm playing that first. Then I go back to my flat five. Yes, yeah, so it's very similar to echoing that first phrase and sometimes echoing phrases is a really strong thing to do in the blues. Now we're going up to the G. So what I'm doing over the G is I'm thinking C minor pentatonic again and I'm going up to position three because I kind of want it to sound different and higher. And I'm going straight up to position three and I'm doing this line. So let's slow that down for you. 
So I've got that chromatic thing. I do this a lot. I really like that there because that's a flat five, yeah? It's just position three lends itself nicely to that flat five, I think. So we've got that. Often I'll do this. So repeat it, get it going round and round, and then finish off with that little bend at the end. Yeah, it's not that's not so much of a BB King lick, but I'm trying to do it with some BB King flair with the vibrato and all that sort of thing. So that's what I'm doing over the uh, over the five chord. Now, when it comes to the four chord, instead of going back here where we went before, what we're thinking is this. <laughs> lines like that now this is coming out of position two of f major pentatonic so over this f we're now thinking major yeah here's f major pentatonic position two yeah and we can navigate to it by thinking of the chord there there's the major third there's the house that i mentioned before yeah and i'm playing around with that flat seven And then when it goes back to the, the one chord in the penultimate bar, so that's bar 11, you've got this. I really like that. I, I just think that sounds great. I think that's so BB-ish, right? Because what he's doing, he's seeing the C here, he's seeing the five there, right? And it just really pulls a strongly, I feel, back into that, that C tonality. So you've got over the F. And then back to the C. And then I've just come down in position two and I've echoed that. So I've gone. And then I've done this little line. And I'm working into this, the, the, the five and the major third, chromatically, root, yeah? And then finishing on the thinking of the five chord again on the final bar yeah then that little line from the four chord and then echo that yeah now the whole thing is really sweet because it's following the chords in a, a very particular way you're not just blasting away in minor pentatonic across the whole thing. You're mixing your majors and minors up. Sometimes you're mixing them um, over different bars, like over the first bar we're doing major and the second bar we're doing minor. But sometimes we're doing major and minor in the same bar. All you have to do to mix major and minor together is that. Because that is a minor third and that is a major third. So as soon as you do that, you're mixing major and minor together. You know, that it's the minor third that makes the minor the minor and the major third that makes the major the major. That's the important thing. The six is in the, for example, the six is in the major pentatonic. It's not in the minor pentatonic, but it doesn't sound terrible in the minor pentatonic, right? The six, what I'm saying, the six hasn't got, it's not inherently major, yeah? Even though it's in the major pentatonic, it's not in the minor pentatonic. It's the same, and it's similar with the two. The two is in the major pentatonic, but not in the minor pentatonic, but it sounds fine in the minor pentatonic. Again, the two isn't, you know, it isn't a minor or major thing necessarily. It's the thirds that are major or minor. So when we're mixing this major and minor pentatonic, it really, really comes down to thirds. That is the most important thing. So things. So here I'm thinking about mixing my minor third and my major third with the, that flat five into the five thing. Going down to that six again but thinking in pentatonic position two. And then I can just, then just switch into position one from there. So I can play obviously position two and position one here. Position two is giving me a major tonality and position one is giving me a minor tonality. So have a play around with that. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Comments below are always great. 
check me out on Patreon. This solo, as I said, is on Patreon. There's a follow-up video and some cool outside BB King ideas to boot. Okay, catch you next time.